That's the second one. Cruising, and um, it is a fantastic voyage. Could be said of all of these uh, videos. A fantastic voyage with Warren. Um, but a fantastic voyage is, is a cool little example of Dorian. I know the last video I talked about was Dr. Dre with some Phrygian. Check it out. You know, I think Dr. Dre is a theory nerd, a closet theory nerd. But uh, Coolio, I, I'm sure he sampled something, right? Because Coolio likes samples. So do all hip hop artists pretty much. But um, this awesome synth bass bar. They're doing a one flat three four flat three four flat three. Uh, I think he, then he goes with two flat seven bada, flat seven to the six. That's how you know it's uh, Dorian because Dorian has a six. Now you might wonder, uh, Warren, how do you know what mode uh, it's in and how do you know it by year? You know, how do you know it? By theory, and how do you know it by ear? Well, by theory, Dorian is a mode that, you know, after you get to know the different modes, it's just the second mode of the major scale. It's, it sort of sounds like when you play D to D on a piano keyboard, or if you can find those notes on a guitar, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, in that order. The relationships between those notes are just simply whole half, whole, whole, hold, half hold, in, you know, or you can say it if you're like uh, in the rest of the world, uh, you can say tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, tone, and that's how you do uh, Dorian. So Dorian is, uh, it's not a spot, about here. So Dorian is a scale from that you can that you can observe with all the white keys from D to D, and that's how you uh, get that sound. It sounds awesome for melodies because it's different from the minor scale. The minor scale has tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. You notice it's a different order than what I said earlier. Um, about to watch a movie. Ellen and I are having a, like a date night type of thing, and she elected to pick The Jungle Book. And uh, I'm excited. I hear my little nephew, who's four years old, loves it. So why wouldn't I love it? Um, they're taking the elevator, so I'm gonna take the stairs. But yeah, so Dorian is like the minor scale except if you lined them up like like this and this and sandwich them up and you line them up tone like that in in order oh, this is the second floor we need to go on the first floor um, you line them up the minor scale has a flat six and the Dorian scale has a natural six Flat six is a uh, flat when you compare it to the major scale. The natural six is natural when you compare it to the major scale. So, um, Daily City, y'all. Little Manila. But, um, Dorian scale is not just awesome for melody, like I was trying to say earlier, but it's also awesome for harmony. If you play Coolio's Fantastic Voyage, you can play it with two chords. And those two chords, one of them highlights a Dorian mode. And that's the minor one, which is one, flat three, and five. If we're in the key of D Dorian, be D, F, A, just a D minor chord. And the next chord to play the entire song, you only need these two chords, is a G major. And so that's a major four chord, or four, six, eight. And in the G major chord, you have G, B, D, and B is the natural sixth. So if you played a D major scale, the D major scale would have a B as well, but a D minor scale has a B flat. And that's why I mentioned 
Minor scale is a flat six, major scale is a six. Here we go. About to go in. You got the, got the, ooh! Jungle book time. Say hi.